Hello. Today we know about Starship and Super Heavy Booster. Starship is the fully reusable spacecraft in second stage of the Starship system. It offers an integrated payload section. And is capable of carrying passengers. And cargo to Earth orbit, planetary destinations, and between destinations on Earth. Starship height is 50 m 160 feet. Now talk about Super Heavy Booster. First Super Heavy Booster Prototype. The first prototype began in December 2020. BN1 was fully stacked inside the high bay on March 18, 2021. On March 30, 2021, Elon Musk stated that BN1 would be scrapped in favor of BN2. And will not roll out to the launch site and perform testing. On April 13, 2021, the scrapping of BN1 commenced. Now talk about cargo configuration. Starship was designed from the onset to be able to carry more than 100 tons of cargo to Mars and the Moon. The cargo version can also be used for rapid point-to-point -point Earth transport. Various payload bay configurations are available and allow for fully autonomous deployment of cargo to Earth, lunar etc. Crew configuration SpaceX was founded with the goal of making life multiplanetary. The Starship program is realizing this goal with the crew configuration of Starship. Drawing on experience from the development of Dragon for the Commercial Crew Program, the Starship Crew Configuration can transport up to 100 people from Earth into LEO and onto the Moon and Mars. The crew configuration of Starship includes private cabins, large common areas, centralized storage, solar storm, shelters and a viewing gallery. About Starship Shock SpaceX is designing Starship to have benign shock environments. Stage separation and payload fairing Door opening will generate negligible shock environments at the payload interface. Consequently the maximum shock environment is typically due to the payload separation system selected for the mission. Typical maximum shock levels at the payload. Separation plane induced by payload separation. Systems. Okay. Next topic is Starship performance. The Starship and Super Heavy system offers substantial mass to orbit capabilities. At the baseline reusable design, Starship can deliver over 100 metric tons to LEO. Utilizing parking orbit refueling, Starship is able to deliver unprecedented payload mass to a variety of Earth, cislunar, and interplanetary trajectories. A summary of available Starship capabilities. The single launch mass to orbit assumes no orbital refueling of Starship. The maximum mass to orbit assumes parking orbit propellant transfer, allowing for a Substantial increase in payload performance numbers assume full Starship reuse. Including super heavy return to launch site. Hit the like button. If you're interested on my video please.